Hi guys, this is the What's New to Garage Hive uh, roundup for March 2019. I'm just going to run through the documentation site like I did last month and just go through some of the features that we've added uh, since the start of the month. So some of this was actually included in last month's video, but I'll just touch on it again. Um, we've added the labor grouping to the web services for Power BI. I'm going to go over all the new Power BI stuff at the end of this video, <coughs> um, but we've been adding stuff throughout um, the entire month. You can now preview your text message and email reminders, um, which is something that I know a lot of you have been doing. So I'll just very quickly show you this. So if you go to your customer notification setup, under actions, you have verify. So you, you can verify the types of reminders, but within these verify windows, this is where you get a preview of what the message will actually look like. Likewise, if we verify the email, you actually get to select the vehicle and you can select the customer and then you get a preview of what the customer's reminder will look like. And if you press OK, it will um, authorize the reminder and the writing will go black. So, if you, you know, you can see that you've actually confirmed that. Uh, we added break horse power to the VRM data, uh, which is just a very simple one that's now available on every lockup. We did quite a bit in terms of the cash receipt journals causing problems for people's end of day um, because they were taking payments on job sheets and the end of day wasn't including the account payments that they took. So you'll notice now um, that when you do a cash receipt journal, as though you're receiving money um, to a customer for an account payment um, or like a payment to account, in the journal now you have payment method code. And if you fill this in, um, you will get, there is a new report that we've created called uh, Customer Payments and Till. And if I just run this as an example, so I'll just run it for the whole of March in this demo. I've got to allow pop-ups. You see, um, this will actually not just include the payments from the day-to-day -day revenues, but also the payments from any account payments. So your till will match now, providing you use the payment method codes when you're doing cash journals. You may need to enable the column. Um, so you just right click on the column headers and you need to enable one called payment method code. If you want any help setting that up, then just please let me know. Uh, we added Santander banking port for those using Santander. We've enabled GDPR preferences in the customer list. So not many of you probably know about this, but from your customers now, again, as you, you're all aware, you can customize your lists within Dynamics. But what we've added is the ability to add the customer's GDPR preferences. Now, the reason this is quite cool is because it allows you to export the data pre-filtered. So for example, if I only wanted to export the customers that have opted into MOT and service reminders, if I click on the customer that has it and right click on the header, filter to value, the list has been reduced and then I can just export this to Excel and it will export all of these columns in this order for you to put into a pivot table or use in your marketing, however you want to use it. We added making tax digital. Um, so again, if I can't show you this because I can't do a VAT submission as a demo, uh, but whenever you're ready to do your uh, VAT, submission just give one of us a shout and we'll walk you through the setup we've improved um, estimates by adding uh, statuses to estimates and changing the way it behaves with the tiles on the home screen so you'll notice that from the service advisors roll center um, the estimate tile is red and if we open this up this will show us all of our outstanding estimates i.e ones that we've not yet dealt with so estimates have got three statuses, awaiting action, awaiting authorization, and complete. You notice if I change this to awaiting authorization and go back to the home page, the tile is still red. But if I change this to complete, the tile's now gone. So you can use this to prompt you, you know, if the tile's red, then you've got outstanding estimates essentially. Previously we had no concept of the status of an estimate. Uh, now we have. Now, another feature we added to estimates and to VHCs 
is our reason codes and again this is all to do with um, power bi uh, which i'll touch on again at the end of this video you can now create various reason codes for winning or lo uh, for losing um, estimates and this can all be reported on um, so that's reason codes they are also available on vhc's as well as estimates So we've actually transitioned quite a few users over to Business Central and we're planning on moving everybody over by the end of the month, which is great. It's going well so far. Uh, we added a load of data sets to Power BI. Again, a lot of what we've done this month is improving Power BI, um, which we'll, again, we'll look at. So that, that's what all of the, whenever you see data set and web services, it's, it's just to do with Power BI. It's just allowing Power BI more access to um, Garage Hive. We improved the statement layout. I think we just added a couple of columns, uh, moved a few bits around. Again, not web services, web services, that's Power BI. Okay, so we modified the VHC printout as well. So I'll just show you this. So we added a concept of authorized to the printout. So customers can now, if, if, if you've given them a quote for some additional work, i.e. upsell from a service, and they've had some done, but not all of it done, you can now give them a copy of their vehicle health check that will give them the breakdown of the prices of the stuff they've authorized and stuff they're yet to authorize. And hopefully you've set deferral dates for this, but it just lets the customer know what they haven't actually had done. Um, and hopefully you can back that up with a phone call. And again, down here, they can see the total amount of authorized and the total amount of identified as well. You can now send text messages from posted job sheets. So if I go to a posted job sheet, I'll open one up as an example. And in actions, you've got send SMS. So this is just a quick way to contact customers after the event as well. Uh, we added order numbers to statements. Oh, we've already spoken about this till report. Um, again, just to make your end of day far more accurate. We added a prompt. So when technicians clock off a job and they've forgotten to enter a mileage, um, the system will now prompt them to enter a mileage. They can't just forget anymore. They have to ignore a prompt. Um, so hopefully this will increase the uh, amount of job sheets that go out with a mileage, which I know is frustration for a lot of people. Uh, and then we added an opt-out feature for customers as well. So if you send a reminder or a booking reminder or a service reminder by text or email, you can now add an opt-out tag to the end um, and it will allow the customer to manage their own preferences. So this is the sort of screen that they'll receive if they follow the link. Um, and this is linked directly to their customer card within Garage Hive. So I know I, I skipped over quite a bit to do with Power BI, so I'm just going to open up um, our Power BI and just go over a few of the features with you. So one of the newest additions to Power BI are heat maps for customers. Um, this is why it's essential that you collect postcode information. You don't need address, you just need postcode. Um, and you can actually see the spend over time um, where your customers are coming from. So this can be filtered by month, by year, um, by branch. Very, very powerful data very good for Facebook targeting and if you do any mail shot information. So this is released um, about two weeks ago by Microsoft um, and we're already taking advantage of it in Garage Hive. So th this report comes with the Business Central update as well. So a couple of the other reports, this one looks ugly, but it's incredibly functional. So this was to do with allowing access to unposted job sheets. Um, what you can now do is run a report and actually look at bookings. So I'm going to filter down to a single branch to make it more logical. And then I'll filter down to a single day. So if we look at tomorrow, so I can see at one branch, you've got 24 jobs booked in. You can see the value of the jobs provided in the job sheets built up. And you can see a breakdown of the type of work that's booked in. So again, ugly, but incredibly functional. And it's a great way for you to understand, are you busy or are you not? And you can see these future bookings down the line. And likewise, if I select MOT here, then I can see what MOT bookings I've got. So very clever report. Again, comes with Business Central. When I spoke about labor groups earlier on, uh, you, this is now what you can do. So if you categorize your labor groups, you can analyze labor types by labor groups. 
So if I look at my service labor, I get a breakdown of the types of service that we do. I can see the amount we've done, the labor sales and the actual average labor rate and a breakdown of what technicians have done what particular part as well. So again, really cool to analyze this data with this labor grouping that was introduced a couple of weeks ago. Going over to VHCs, this is something that we um, added again a couple of weeks ago with these data sets. You can now analyze how many inspections you're doing, the value of the inspections and the percentage of authorized work from a high level. And then you can actually drill all the way down to a single vehicle health check as well and actually see the estimate within Power BI. So if I look at the 1st of April, I can then select non-authorized work. I can then select an individual health check and actually see what wasn't authorized. So incredibly powerful uh, at very quickly analyzing your estimates, essentially. You can do this over months, over days, again, over branches. You can compare branches side by side. Uh, yeah, just very cool data. Again, this comes with Business Central. We've added an attendance report. So we can actually see in garage, in Power BI, instead of the attendance report in Power BI, you can now see the attendant. Instead of the attendance report in Dynamics, you can now see the attendance report in Power BI. Um, you can set certain thresholds. So um, blocks will go red or pink or like a darker green if they've done overtime or they're away or they've left early. So yeah, very, very good. At, a very quick overview of seeing who's been on site. And then we have a tremendous amount of additional data for the technicians now. So a lot of this wasn't available before. We've introduced a new measure called efficiency, which combines utilization and recovery rate. So if you previously, if you had one technician that was incredibly well um, utilized, but recovering badly, it was kind of hard to judge where they were. And likewise, if we look at um, Griff A, I've taken names off for just protection purposes, but this is just a code that we use. We can see that his utilization is not great, but his recovery is, is huge. And if you combine those figures overall, it looks quite good. Whereas before, if you looked at these, it was, it was always a little bit tricky to understand what's actually going on. Whereas now um, we have this efficiency column. It just, it just makes it much simpler to understand. Um, this for us has become our single most important measure. Um, when I say for us, I mean for Lindley's, which is the garage that we also run. Um, yeah, efficiency again comes with Business Central. You're going to get bored of me saying that, but you'll, you'll all have it very soon. We've added uh, yearly reports. Again, um, you now have these color scales as well, which you didn't have before. So you can see relative to the rest of the year or the rest of time or the period that you set where that branch actually falls in, uh, where that month actually falls in. So these color, these are um, dynamic based on how the rest of the months have performed. Um, it's a really quick way to view if you're actually doing better or worse as a company. Um, instead of actually having to look at the figures, you just want to look for a, a gradual increase in green, um, which you can see for this branch in particular um, that's happened, which is great. It's great for the managers to see and obviously great from a business owner's perspective. So that's it for March. Um, a lot of emphasis has been put on um, developing Business Central. Um, we're there. We can't wait. By the end of this month, we expect everybody to be on Business Central and then um, we can crack on with the rest of the, the development that we've got planned. There's some very cool stuff hopefully coming in uh, next month.